Hey, this is Darren with Big Daddy Scripts. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to create a polyzone. Because I'm not going to create them for you. Okay, let's say we want to create a polyzone around this body of water or part of this body of water. And I want it to be on this edge here. We're going to say easy create. It's a poly, and then we're going to give it a name. Uh, and I'm just going to say test water. All right. It created this red line. That is our first point. And you're going to do it in straight lines because that's how it's going to work. So I'm going to go as far as I can for it to be straight. And then I'm going to say PZ add, and it's going to add another point. See, there you go. We're creating it further and you can add as much detail or granularity as you want I'm gonna do PZ add again and we're just gonna keep doing that all the way around this water I'm actually going to cut across here because I don't want to be here all day and you just keep adding points. And it's also keeping track of the Z, which is how high or low you are compared to the world. And I'll show you that here in a minute. As you can see, as you've gone around, it's trying to close it. It wants to find, it's trying to make a complete polygon. So if that's where I wanted it to be, so let's say that's where I wanted to stop. Now we're going to do a PZ finish, and it's done. It'll disappear. You'll see the message there that it put it in a text file. All right, so you can see here that it created it in my base folder and it's polyzone underscore created underscore zones dot txt and it'll just keep adding so it'll keep putting one after another on here you can see it's test water here's all the points and they're just vector two points that i just created and you'll see it did a min z and a max z that's from where i was standing so uh, i uncomment these and for the sake of the capture the flag, I'm gonna you know, go to 50 because it's gonna be under the ground and then something like 70. And that'll, that'll give you 20 meters of space. You don't want it to be too tall because they could just fly a helicopter in there and take it. But that's how you create the poly zones. And then once you get all your zones created and make sure that your names are what you want use underscores instead of spaces because it has to match the variable name if you know if i wanted this to be test water like that i'm going to put an underscore in between there and the script will actually remove that when it displays it but the code needs it to be in there so once you get them all created you're going to pull them out of there and you're, they're going to go into your polyzones.lua file within the capture the flag resource and there will be directions on how to do that in the documentation so anyway hope that gives you a little insight into the polyzones and how to create one <laughs>